What is up, y'all? Welcome to day two, week two of the Strong at Home series. Today's focus is all about that upper body. So I think shoulders, chest, back, and we are gonna get started with a warm up. So let's get right into it. All you're gonna need for today's workout is a set of dumbbells, and it is less than a 30 minute workout, but always get started with the warm up. So start at the back of your mat and walk it out into a high plank position. From here, rotate and open towards your right hand side. Look up at the ceiling if you want, wiggle your wrist around, come back down through center, swap to the opposite side, reach up, stack your shoulders, rotate your wrists back down through center and walk it back in, standing up. And I want you to repeat that. Maybe for another 30 seconds or so, just really finding your core, finding that balance, finding that stability in your upper body because we are gonna have a lot of core integrated with our upper body today. You know that's my favorite. You know I can't just do like an upper body day without core. <sighs> Breathe through it. Slowly starting to warm up those muscles, those joints, getting them prepped for the work ahead. Last one here in about 10 seconds. I want you to meet me in a high plank position. Three, two, and one. Drop your knees down, going into tabletop. <clears throat> Excuse me. And from here, rotate open towards the sky, going into a thoracic twist. Back through center, same thing, other side. Thoracic twist, meaning that spinal twist, reaching up towards the sky. Trying to keep your hips locked in while rotating your upper body. Three, two, and rest. Now kneeling on your heels, making sure your knees are about hip distance, really just wherever you feel comfortable. And you're gonna rotate, bring your arms out to the side, rotate palms up, internally rotate on that back arm, externally rotate on your front arm and then repeat opposite side. Internal and external rotation of those rotator cuffs. Last three, two, one, and shake it out. Bring your arms up, back and around. Nice big shoulder rolls here. Up, back, and around. We are gonna be hitting some push-ups today. I know it's your favorite. We're gonna be hitting a lot of shoulders and a lot of obviously stability working across the body. Three, two, and one. In order to prep ourselves for those push-ups, we're gonna start by doing some modified ones. So start on your toes, or if you're newer, start on your knees. But I want you to slowly just lower all the way down to the ground. Slow, 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 slow. Release your hands and then meet me back at the top, however makes sense to you. <sighs> Count to yourself, maybe four, three, two, one. Push and up. Elbows back in that A lettering, so not out to the side, not too far in towards your body. Maybe just an inch or so distance between your bicep or your tricep and your shoulder or your rib cage. Can I find my words today? Last one. Oh. And release. Last little bit of the warm up. We're gonna go into some core movements. So, starting with a slow mountain climber right here. Drive that knee up and in towards that midsection. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrists, chin is up off your chest. Last three, two, flip it over, one, flipping it over, going into bicycle crunches. Again, nice and slow. Shoulder blades lifted up off the ground. Rotate, tapping opposite elbow to opposite knee. Less than 10. Last three, two, flip it back over, one, and last little bit of the warm up, go down into a low plank 
Lock it in. We're gonna be here for 15 seconds. Nice isometric plank hold. Everything in line, upper back, hips, feet. Breathe through it, embrace that shake, less than 10. Three, two, one, and done. Ooh, arms should be on fire, core should be on fire. Maybe a little tiny bit of sweat going. And now is the perfect time to start the workout. So let's get into it. Before we get into the workout, I wanna explain the layout of the land and what's gonna go on. So we have six exercises total, but two different sets. So the first set is your set of three exercises. You're hitting each one four times. We'll take a nice long rest and then move on to set number two, which is another three set of exercises, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest across the board, and you only utilize your dumbbells right over here. I'm using the power block because it's just easy to adjust. They're like my go-to home workout because they also don't take up a lot of space. But whatever you have handy, make sure it's there for you. Make sure you have options to go up or down in weight. And I think I'm done talking. Let's go. We're gonna go in about 15 seconds. Grab onto a light to medium dumbbell. We're going into a kneeling shoulder press. So on your knees, weight locked into that shoulder. And let's go. Pressing up and down. Single arm shoulder press. This first round, we'll just focus on that right arm. Round number two, we'll focus on the left and then we'll repeat. I like teaching palm facing towards your body and then rotating as you push up in a way. Lock down that rib cage. Lock in that core, less than 10. We got this, we got this. Three, two, one, and rest. Ah, same thing other side. Make sure that whatever way you're using on one side, you're also using it on the other. Keep it even spiel across the board. But after the second round, if you feel like it's too heavy, too light, that'll be the opportunity to up your weight. Three, two, one, lock it in and push. Whew. Notice my other hand, it's like, sometimes it looks kind of crazy with that opposite hand straight out beside you. If you want to make a fist, you can, but it just helps keep your balance. You can also hold it here at your chest if you want to. What I don't want you to do though, is be here holding your hip. It just, does it feel right? Doesn't look athletic. It's not wrong, but it's just not the way I personally coach it. Last five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Same thing, one more time each side, and then we move on. I'll face the side so you guys can see how to lock down your root cage if you want to take some mental notes and work in that form. Three two, and one. First thing I want you to pay attention to is your toes. Making sure they're flexed underneath you. It's gonna help keep you more stable. Knees underneath those hips. Hips are tucked underneath your body. Squeezing through your glutes to keep you upright. <sighs> Trying not to flare out that rib cage or your booty as you push that weight overhead. This got this, got this. Shoulder is on fire. Less than 10. Three, two, one, rest. Ooh, my God. Oh my God. Yeah, that'll get you. Starting off strong with a shoulder press, am I right? Less than 10, last time on this side, and we move into a renegade row. So getting the back part of our bodies. Three. Two and one. Now throughout this whole workout, it's obviously upper body focused. So your legs, your core obviously are involved as you notice with this move, but find a weight that's going to challenge you, but not compromise your form. That sweet spot. 
10 seconds. We got this. Three, two, one, and rest. All right. Moving on, grab our two weights. I like to place both my palms with my hands on them. If you want to use one weight, you can keep it in the center in your plank and alternate using that. Either one works great, but finding that high plank in three, two, one. Nice, strong plank, feet at least the width distance of your mat. Pull your elbow up and back. And your goal here is to obviously work your upper body, work your back muscles. But the added bonus of core engagement, avoiding that rocking side to side, because that core is locked in. Awesome. I want you to know I am doing all these workouts with you with the appropriate weight in real time because what other way is there? Rest. Because if I don't know what it's like, how do I tell you? How do I tell you know what to work? So I'm here the whole way with you, struggling with you. And I feel it. <laughs> I really do. In five seconds, back to that high plank. If you want to modify, you can go in town into a, a tabletop position and row from here. Let's go. Nice and slow. If that weight is controlling you versus you controlling the weight, go down in weight. Drop down those LBs. You're gonna get more out of the move when you stay in control. And you're gonna stay safe. We don't want you to get injured. I want you to come back for more. Keep it up. Three, two, one. Rest, two down, two to go. Move on to the final movement. This workout is gonna go by very, very quickly, which is perfect. Perfect for me, my, my attention span is quite small sometimes. Last three, two, one, here we go. Breathe through it, lock down those hips. Again, if you want to modify, if you watch me here, I'm in that tabletop position and I row back and forth. Ten seconds to go. Last three, two, one. Last one. Rows, well, it's like a, like a toss up between rows and shoulder press and push-ups. I love them all. Like it's a love-hate relationship, but just something about these moves just makes me feel so powerful, you know? Getting that snatched back look, getting that strong as fuck look. Bleep that out for sure. <laughs> Strong AF, I guess I should say. Last time we're here, come on. Pull that elbow straight behind you. 10. Three, two, one. One of those weights can go up. Going into a bear crawl, that dumbbell drag now. Finding that tabletop bear crawl position. Knees about one or two inches above the ground. And then dragging that weight from what right to left. And let's go. Four rounds here. Nice strong position, flat back. Now working more heavily into those deep core muscles. Core is working because we're trying to not rotate, AKA a little anti-rotation. Shoulders are working. 
to keep you upright. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Assess the weight. See if you need to go up. Right now I'm about at 20 pounds. I feel like that's decent. I feel like it's challenging, but I'm not compromising what I'm doing during the exercise when we're on. Three, two, one, here we go. Breathe through it. If you're taking part in the entire six weeks, as the weeks progress, the goal is to get stronger, right? Strong at home. So how do you do that? How do you track that? Keep track of your weights. Write down what you use. Go through this program again at the very end to see how far you've come in your journey. 10 seconds. See if it's easier, harder than the first round. See if you lift heavier than the first time and rest. Two more and we have a big break, we have a big break. Make sure to breathe, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth, roll your shoulders up, back and down. Yeah. We're on. Three, two, one. If you widen your stance behind you, widen your stance. It's gonna give you a little bit more stability, a little bit more wiggle room when it comes to keeping that core tight versus having your feet together. It's a lot harder to stabilize that core, especially moving that weight around. Five, four, stay with me. Three, two, one. You know what, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier. So I'm gonna go to 25, oh my gosh. Please don't let me regret this. <clears throat> Three, two, one, let's go. Oh man, that five pounds makes a huge difference. <sighs> but it's okay. It's slow, it's steady. I'm strong. What I'm gonna re be repeating to myself the rest of this workout. Slow, steady, strong. Upper body strong. We are almost done with our first set, meaning we're almost halfway done with the workout. Keep it up. Last five, four, three, two, one. Rest. A little over 60 seconds here. And we're moving on to set number two. We're gonna start strong with what I call an overhead carry. And we're gonna walk the length of our mat. Less than 60 seconds. The goal of this overhead carry, much like that shoulder press, is to keep your rib cage locked, core engaged, and tons of stabilizer muscles in your shoulder are working to keep that weight overhead without you falling all over the place. So start in a comfortable place, maybe test it out right now in the next 30 seconds. Will you feel comfortable holding overhead, making sure you have that full range of motion, not here, where you're in that like 90 degree bend, fully extended pushing towards the ceiling. In 20 seconds, we're gonna go, I'm gonna start with a 20 pound weight and just go from there. You're hitting each side twice, so it's not a ton of time and retention, but I promise you they'll add up. So grab onto that weight. We're going in five, press overhead, start at the back of your mat, and walk it out. Walk forward, and walk back. Nice. Walk forward, and walk backwards. Nice and slow, they don't need to be big steps. You'll probably start to notice your shoulder shaking, your arm shaking. Maybe that elbow starts to bend. Really press that weight up towards the sky. 
almost there. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh my goodness. How'd that feel? How did that feel? Oh, I love, a, I'm indifferent. I feel like I'm, I'm not a good representative because I really do love all these moves, but I'm biased, you know, I did create the workout. Three, two, one, opposite arm, press overhead, rib cage locked down, hips tucked underneath your body, slow baby steps here. Make sure that bicep is pulled away from your ear as well. Shoulder blade is pulled down and back. <sighs> Breathe through it. Just about 10 seconds to go. Good form, good form. Embrace that shake if it's happening. <sighs> Three, two, one, rest. You know, I didn't give myself enough credit. We're gonna go a little bit heavier. We're gonna bump it up though, all the way to 30 pounds. All the way to 30 pounds. In five, four, three, lock it up, two, and let's go. Nice baby steps. Keep it up, keep it up. <sighs> Breathe through it. Honestly, the walking, it does add a little bit of stabilization to the workout because the weight is moving around, but it's also like kind of a distraction from the weight you're holding overhead. Less than 10. Oh yeah, that weight jump was perfect. Three, two, one, and rest. One more time, less than 15 minutes. We have honestly less than 10 minutes left in the workout. 10 seconds, come on. <sighs> Safely get that weight to your shoulder. Push that weight up overhead and let's go. 40 seconds. Since we're only working for about 40 seconds at a time, it's that sweet spot of not lifting you know, a one or two rep max and all your heaviest, but you're also not lifting super light or you feel like you could go on forever, like 50, 60 seconds or so. So by the end of that 40 seconds, when I count down in that last 10 or five, you should be very close to wanting to drop that weight. Lock it in, shoulder pulled down, rib cage tucked, less than 10. Three, two, one, and rest. Moving on to an overhead pull. Going in about 10 seconds, you're gonna grab one dumbbell, lying on the ground, and you're gonna pull that weight with slightly straight arms, and one, lying back, hips tucked underneath. Slight bend in those elbows as you pull that weight back and then right back up. All the way back, and then right back up. Keeping control, feeling that stretch in those armpits, in that area right underneath your armpits where that bra line meets. You can always add on two by adding in a dead bug position with your legs, feet in that 90 degree bend, and rest. One down, three to go. It's not easy, y'all. If you feel like the weight was too easy though, grab on something a little bit heavier. Make every round count. You're only here for three more rounds. Last three, two, one, here we go. The beauty of these workouts, of working out at home, is obviously convenience. I mean, this is a free service that I'm so freaking happy to provide to you and be a part of. But you can also really just make it your own workout. So if you feel like this weight is not enough, if you feel like you need to modify to something lower, take it easy, you can do that. So we all start at different fitness levels and 
The goal is to make these workouts accessible. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. I'm gonna go a little bit. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier. I keep underestimating myself. Back up to the 30. Two more. Going in five. Goal is that, again, to feel that stretch in that back. Biceps by your ears, and let's go. Oh yeah, that's the bar. That's the money. If you do have your legs like mine, I want you to make sure your low back is pressing to the ground at all times, which is helping to keep your lower abdominals engaged and keeps that work out of your low back. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. One more round, one more time. And then we move on to the final exercise, which I kind of hinted at in the very beginning. If you can guess what it is, I will not tell you until we get there. I'll give you in three, two, one. I'll tell you in 40 seconds what we're doing. But if you know me at all, you already know what we're doing. Stretch, work into those triceps, into those lats. Come on, come on. Oh, last time you're here. Final 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, rest. You don't need any equipment. We're doing push-ups, baby. Push-up to rotation, so a T push-up. You can modify to your knees or grab a box if you need to. Going in three, two, and one. Just make sure you go all the way down, all the way up. Rotate towards the sky, just like in that warm up. All the way down, up, rotate. Look at that hand at the top. Less than four minutes of work. And we are done with the workout. I had to finish with what some would deem the hardest upper body exercise because apparently I like to torture myself. Three, two, one, and rest. If you notice that your belly is dropping before your upper body, modify, okay? Modify to your knees, add in a bench, go to your feet, to your knees, whatever you need to do. But that core strength is the first to give. So that's also a good sign that we need to work on your core strength, if that's the case. And let's go. <sighs> Rotate. Rotate, every time you rotate, dropping your heels down to the side so you're on the sides of your feet, nice and flat. We got this, last 10. Last three, two, one. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Do I love you or do I love you? Do you love me or do you love me? <laughs> Don't answer that right now, because you might not. But I promise you, you're gonna feel so good afterwards. You're gonna feel so good. <sighs> Two more rounds, and let's go. <sighs> These push-ups are a full body exercise. You are stronger than these push-ups. You're stronger than you think. When you think you only have one more rep, do one more. <sighs> 10 seconds. 
all the way to the end. Come on. Three, two, one. Just 40 seconds of work. Shoulders roll back and down. Shake it out. Don't think, just go. Five, four, three, two, one. Final 40 seconds right here. We got this. We got this. Five, three, two, one. Great job, y'all. We're gonna do a slight cool down. Roll your shoulders up, back, and around. Way to go. Week two, workout two, check it off the list. Workout of the day, check it off your list. Rotate your neck right to left, ear to shoulder. Just doing that half moon rotation, chin to chest. <sighs> Let me know which set you like the most. Let me know if you're a push-up fiend like I am. And hopefully you still love me after those. My arms already feel like jello. Thank you so much for joining me on this workout. Give yourself a pat on the back for completing the workout. And make sure if you did like this, to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll of course see you in the next workout. Bye y'all.